Hello, it's Noir Nerd, and this tutorial we're going to be looking at uh, A frame and how to create a sort of basic uh, maze like environment with uh, supporting movement, obviously, and collisions with the walls, and just a little bit on how to create walls. It's not so much a tutorial about how to create a really good maze or anything, it's more just how to get in place the basics for creating that so obviously you need collisions because you can't avoid if you walk through the walls it sort of defeats the idea of a maze you need to be able to create walls for the maze uh, and that's about all we'll cover so we'll just cover the basics really just uh, importing in the physics library we need for to support collisions how to set that up uh, as well as just um, other things like how to add in walls and things like this okay so without further ado let's have a look at what we're going to make so this is one i made earlier as it were the textures are just really stretched and weird i mean but just think of it more as the example of what we're going to create i guess so uh and the maze isn't complete by any stretch of the imagination it's more just to demonstrate that look you've got a controller you can walk around, you can bump into things, and you're not going to go through the walls. So if I go here, I can't go through the walls here, I can't go through the walls here, I can move around. Um, so yeah. And then I added this to Matrix Effect for some reason, just to mess around. But uh, obviously if you're doing this in a real world example, you'll probably have something like an endpoint where once you bump into a certain object, it triggers the end of a game or something. Probably 90% of the time you were, the time you'd be using something like this would be to make a game. So just to maybe you can make a sort of 3D Pac-Man or something like this. I mean sort of there's many options of what you could do with this sort of thing. Sort of uh, sort of idea of a, like a 3D environment with a maze like environment. Many things you could do. All I'm doing is giving you the sort of initial steps for that. So anyway, let's start. So uh, I'm going to close this, close that, open my web store, open a new project. This is the completed project, but we're going to create a new one to demonstrate it. Um, demo 3D maze, call it that. We make it a blank project, completely blank. Okay. So first thing we're going to want to do is create an index.html file. Let's call it index. Standard name. <laughs> uh, that's that's all really that we need to do for that part. We're going to use uh, we're not going to use Node or anything for the package. Manager. I'm just going to use a CDM. 3D maze. Call it the title. Okay. So as we use an A-frame, first thing we're going to need to do is copy that across. So we put the Reference the CDN within the head. Uh, so we've got script source A frame minified, which is our minified JavaScript for the uh, for A frame, which is the VR 3D web um, package we need. Then we're going to also do this. We're going to install it. Add a reference to CDN A frame extras. That's mostly for the to do with the control script uh, and also A-frame physics system, which means we can use um, we can uh, have collisions when the player walks into the wall and stuff. So we've got that set up. So the first thing we want to do to make create a new scene is create a scene, just that for now, which then defines the areas inside the screen areas a. Uh, new A-frame scene um, and we'll add a player and a box so if we go eight. so there's a lot going on here I just copied and pasted it no, I don't think there's any real point of um, writing it from scratch so A entity just means this is a new entity camera means it's a type camera uh, you have to from what I found from messing around with this, and I'm still messing around with it quite a bit, to get the actual uh, physics to work, often I have to use it this 
kinematic body um, attribute for whereas it doesn't work sometimes. Uh, and then I've given it WCD controls of acceleration of 200, which you can tweak. Uh, but the important things to bear in mind there is this camera, you've got the WCD controls so you can move around, and this kinematic body, which I think comes from A-frame extras actually. So now let's create just a box. So we just want to create maybe a wall, uh, a floor, and a box. So let's do that. A plane, which is basically I mean, makes a box, and we'll give it the f uh, a floor, sorry, and then we'll give it the following attributes. So, giving it material green just so it's got color, width 60, height 60, it makes, gives it the scales it basically, and also giving it static body, which is important for the physics. So. You don't fall through the floor. What's that complaining about? Oh, yeah, okay. Hyphen. And then let's just create a box. So just a box with uh, just a box somewhere, maybe near the player. And then, and then we can just have a look and see what that looks like. Get off that. A box. Uh, let's create anything. So, da, 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 da. it can be a bit laborious sometimes doing this. So I'm not, it's just not that. Just give it color, material, material. I'm just giving it a color, and I'll talk about this in a second. Just need to get this sort of looking all right first. Set up, okay. So a box material, we've got material, which is where you can set uh, texture or color. So at the moment I'm just setting it to color red. Static body, which means it's a static body, which means it doesn't move around. It does, it's not gonna to respond to, I could also make a dynamic body as well. So I'll do that just to demonstrate that too. So you can, dynamic body, you'll be able to move around. So if you wanted to like create a movable box, uh, I think that should set it up okay. And I'll just create this a bit. 10 or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 5. Make it smaller. Or 2 even. 2. So these are fairly self explanatory. Uh, so let's just run this and see what happens. Hopefully it should work. Oh! I forgot to give it. The dynamic body, uh, something. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So I'm walking into the wall and I can't walk through it. So that's basically the first step of actually creating a wall done. I think the dynamic body needs uh, something else setting. For what are, yeah, it needs mass, basically. So let's do that as well, just because why not? So you need to do some extra settings for that. I forgot about dynamic body shape mass 2. If I load it up now, still falls through the floor probably because of the position, I guess. Probably position, positioned it incorrectly. Try 0, 0, 0. So it's just falling through the floor for some reason. Ah, something that's useful to know is you can add a uh, physics debug. So you can add a. When you're adding the physics to the scene, you can also do this debug add it true and then you can see the sort of wireframe for whether we can't really see it on this one because this is red as well but if i just change that to black i'll be able to see that um if i change this one to black you'll be able to see it a bit better than i think so yeah so you can see like where the bounding box is on the object which basically just controls how how I coll how it collides with interacts with other objects, sort of like sort of like the I don't know I guess the presence of it in the universe. I don't know that's probably a bad explanation, <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. So what else do we need to cover? So if we wanted to add a skybox, we can just do 
Uh, you can add it as an asset. So if we go underneath the scene, we go add S A assets, and then I'll just call it. Let's make it blue. So there we've got A assets image ID, da -da -da, and then I add A sky. Just the ID of that, and then it should work. Did I make it black? No, I made it blue. Why aren't you working? <laughs> Weird. Okay, well, I don't know whether it's happening. So, anyway, that's so we've got a sort of setup now for. Uh, so, if you wanted to create like a maze like environment, you can press Ctrl Alt and A basically whenever you're in an A frame scene, and you can open this inspector up, which is quite useful. Uh, so, now I can inspect this, see what the positions are, because obviously, because you're adding it in programmatically, it can be quite. Uh, Quite confusing sometimes, so it helps us to have this. I think you can even export it out, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Not really done it very much. Uh, yeah, so if I could shift this around, I can look at the positions here, the rotations. So, say for example, if I wanted to add another one of these, I can just add it in up there. Uh, this needs to be off a bit actually, I don't know where it's done like that. And then I could shift this around, create copies of it. And that can be quite useful. And you can just sort of use this as a reference and then for creating the actual maze itself. But anyway, that shows you how to add a A frame scene with a collision and add something there. I mean, that's basically the building box of creating any sort of maze scene. The rest of it then is basically just figuring out uh, where to place these. So if I open my example from before, this is the one I was doing before. So this is the example from before and just adding, uh, and it's not finished by any stretch of imagination, but so I've added outside walls here and this just sort of gives you an idea of how you, how you could do it. So I've added outside walls here, which and then done all the positioning, which is a lot of trial and error. And then the maze contents again, same thing, a lot of trial and error. Uh, and then you've got your floor. So it's based, this is basically just an expanded version of what I've just shown you how to do, basically. Uh, with some textures, so we've got source there, which is just when a texture defined. So I mean that's a quick introduction to how you could create a maze. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go like cut, I don't think there's any point taking two hours now or an hour or whatever just positioning all this stuff because it's sort of just pointless I mean you can you get the idea you, you need to position these things in 3d space the main thing I want to show is just the uh, collision detection how to add that because that can be a bit tricky sometimes I find in uh, a frame and I always for myself forget how to do it uh, and yeah just some basic like how to create uh, walls which can be useful in a wall in a like a maze situation, I guess, or in some sort of environment building, I guess, for VR. Anyway, that's probably enough. Um, this is uh, that's that I think really. That's all I need to cover. It's, it's pretty. It doesn't really get much more complicated than that. Um, so yeah, hope that's been useful in some sense. Bye. Like and subscribe if you like the content. I've done more A-frame videos as well, so I'll put those up in the recommended. And uh, yeah, have a good one.